Damn, man. Damn. Man. I made X eight videos excluding this one. Learn how to iron trousers isn't crossed out, but I did do that. As you can see by the ironing trousers videos, I, I did do that. But everything else, other than the plank journey videos and the... Um, this log no sorry other than the videos on the channel i didn't really do much today it's about half eight now so i want to get an early night's rest so i'm not even going to really get rid of anything that's there because i want to i actually do want to achieve it and i'm taking it seriously you know what um i remember setting the task about oh uh, it says fill up jerry can get some petrol I'll consider that one done. So, um, for reasons I won't explain. Uh, other than that, like, yeah, there's a lot that I set and didn't achieve. I think what I need to do is I need to make it more of a priority, really a lot more of a priority to do all of these things that I set myself and I have a way I don't know the way I'm not Ugandan knuckles but I do have a way a solution to be able to do this and that's to completely stop scrolling through YouTube once you've uploaded the video come off the phone leave it leave it and um, place it in another room somewhere out somewhere out of sight completely out of sight because I need to get this shit done and I can't do that whilst i'm scrolling here and there looking at views oh uh today's plank journey session someone watched it for less than 10 minutes 9 minutes and 14 seconds youtube studio said before you ask yes we can find out this sort of stuff it's on it's it's on youtube studio it's on our creator studio so we can actually find out how long people have watched on average not specific people no but how much how long it's been watched on average and if the channel is it being watched or uh, if it's being watched by single digit people then you could probably tell oh this person watched it for x amount yeah and we get all the stats on it we get audience retention where what at what times people are watching the most and at what time stamps people are watching the least whereas um average compared to the highs and the lows everything we get we get that when the um that something blows up enough and it gets thousands of views, we get audience retention information. I saw that for the first time a few days ago and I made a private video showing what it looked like and me getting used to it. I thought I had to uh, climb, I thought I had to draw my, no, swipe my finger where the line of the graph was, but no, I could just swipe it horizontally to be able to see, oh, yeah, it's, um, it's got, it was at this percentage at this second, I don't have to follow the line. I can just swipe horizontally. And yes, we do get this sort of information. We do. Um, but very basically, I mean, it's probably like four, uh, 20 to 9 now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to feel sorry for myself that I didn't complete everything that I set myself to do today. I will instead go with this game plan. And it's to complete everything that's there first of all, and then go and do more, go and do extra. But how, how do I do this? My solution is to stop scrolling. Instead of scrolling, once a video is uploaded, place the phone somewhere else out of the room and then focus on, make it a priority to go through everything I've set myself. That's what I tell myself to do. And with that game plan, I'm ending it here. <coughs> Bless me, I'm ending it here to actually get on with it, get an early night's rest. So I set aside a lot more time to be able to do what I set myself, wake up at around maybe four to five, be on the computer for quite a while, which is fairly silent, so I won't wake up any of my family. It will just be me typing and doing what I need to do, going through my morning routine, as you can see in red. Um, I'm just testing this routine out to see how it goes, really. But um, 
yeah, do the routine, go through everything that I set myself in the order I've set myself um, to do these things in. So I don't actually um, have to think about, oh, what do I do next? Just make it easier for myself. So that's what I'm going to get on with. Um, on that note, I need. I, I don't. I don't want to be saying um every few seconds. So I'll. I'll stop that. On that note, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something valuable. I certainly have. I've stopped watching YouTube mindlessly, but now, no more scrolling. That I have to get rid of that in order to progress and move forward. So that's what I'm going to work on starting from tomorrow. Actually, starting from now, starting from right now, because I'm talking about it. And then I'll apply what I've just said tomorrow. Yeah. I'll actually make a note of it on the whiteboard. So, yeah, I'll get on with it. Um, I hope you learned something valuable. I hope you enjoyed. And I just want to let you guys know. And just to remind you, my future self out there, that it absolutely is possible to transform your life and to carry on improving. You, regardless of what you think it is, it absolutely is. A, day by day, bit by bit. And um, here, I'm here to show you that. You guys and myself. You guys. Reminds me of Chris. Uh, first man. You guys. Say that like once every 25 seconds. Come on man. Once every 10 seconds. Come on. Oh. <laughs> but if I were to be mindlessly consuming his content. I'd tell you what. I'd be able to overlook that bullshit. Because in my opinion. He has very valuable messages. He has very valuable messages. Which I'm not hearing elsewhere. Such as the. You don't have to get a place in Camden, in NW1, for 650k. You don't have to buy a 650 grand box when you could go in Dubrovnik, in Croatia, get a house, buy a house, and almost buy a boat for that same amount of money. So with that sort of shit in mind, I would I'd be over I'd be willing to overlook. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Every every 25 seconds, I would I'd be willing to overlook that because his message is so valuable. It's so so valuable and i don't hear anyone else talking about topics the way how he does valuable valuable give an example then so i'd say one of his videos that could be considered very valuable to me at least is it could take four months to change your life four months hmm i i want to let's see we'll see Four months. This channel could have 10,000 subscribers in four months. Do I want that growth that quick? No. No, I don't. But I'm just saying it could happen. I don't want that growth that quick because I like the growth that's happening right now. Where it's like changing, increasing once every few days. It being the subscriber count. Before, before six or seven subscribers... It was, actually no, before 7 subscribers, it was increasing once every 2 weeks. Uh, from about maybe 4 to 6. No, from about 4 to 7, it was increasing by 1 once every 2 weeks. And one person unsubscribed at the 6 mark from my memory. That's going to happen. And if there's any advice I give out there, It'd be to just carry on making videos. Carry on. Don't let the subscriber count going down by one when you're in single digits. Not fool you, no. The word I'm looking for is lower your self-esteem because you allow it to. Yeah. Or the phrase, in fact. That was not one word. Yeah. Yeah. If you allow it to, it will lower your self-esteem. And I can understand, like, if it's... Say, for example, you're going from 9 to 8. That's like what? You're 11% of a subscriber count going down. So when you think of it like that, if you were to do 1 divided by 9 times 100 and get that percentage, that's that's a lot. For it to go down immediately like that. Eesh. I could understand. But um, nonetheless. Instead of focusing on getting 10,000 subscribers. Focus on creating 10,000 videos. How about that? 
six videos a day, every day for five years. How about that? How about that? Have slightly over 10,000 videos. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of that reality and I'm creating that reality. This is probably going to be my ninth video, but this is me done for the day. I don't feel upset or sad that I didn't complete everything that's there because it's early, I'm feeling full, I'm laying in bed on my sister's, in, in my sister's room, on my sister's mattress about to go to sleep. And uh, I know that if I wake up early, I'll be able to do that and more. Trust me, so I'm not feeling upset. Even though I know I could have done more instead of scrolling on YouTube. I know I, I know I could have, I know I could have. I'm in fact gonna stop the image here and actually put up my screen time to be able to help me to see how long I was actually on YouTube for overall. That's uploading videos, keeping the screen on whilst uploading videos, whilst it was on MyFitnessPal without me looking, whilst it was on YouTube without me looking, all of that. I'm going to include it right now. Ah, uh, okay. So I've just seen as you guys have the, um, this is what my YouTube and YouTube studio usage is. It says five hours day E8 on creativity, but make it five hours because it's either five hours or four hours 50 because of the time on YouTube studio. And I go on YouTube studio to see what it's like. And it's like every, once every hour I'm on it just to do a quick check to look at views and that. That's got to go completely. Zero minutes on YouTube studio. Zero minutes on YouTube studio on the phone. And also, not zero minutes on the laptop, but no scrolling on the laptop for sure. Can't be doing that unless I'm going to make an end screen or subtitles or a card for a video. I can't do that. Instead, I just have to do the end screen, do the description or whatever. And if I see a video is blown up, that's fine. Do what you need to do. But it can't go any further than that. No, no more than that. Yeah. So on that note, I'm going to get an early night's rest and actually tackle everything that's there and more. So I'm going to I'm going to impress myself tomorrow. I'll make I'll make sure of it. I'll impress myself tomorrow. If I could do everything that I set myself to do and five extra things, um, I'm, I'm fucking sold. Well done you, Mr. Planket Journey. So um yeah, if I do that, everything that's there and five extra things, like I've done some research at five extra places. Uh I've got some links on a on a laptop my dad gave me recently about what I want to learn about like sexual health psychology and the brain i've got some books to read as well oh mate if i could do uh read about the human body by ted smart read about the deep work and things that i want to apply such as quitting social media for example maybe or draining the shallows yeah draining the shallows and then i read about human anatomy psychology that's four things modeling french fashion sense they could be considered as two, so that's seven, or I either six or seven. May if I do everything I set myself to do first, and all of those things, I'm sold, baby, I'm sold. But anyway, on that note, yeah, I'm gonna get an early night's rest, wake up early, and just get the fuck to it. Follow the morning routine and do everything. Make it your priority. Just do everything I set myself. No scrolling through YouTube. No scrolling through uh, YouTube feed. That's something I've done as well, a little bit. Not as much uh, as I've done in the past, but a little bit. No scrolling through YouTube feed. No scrolling through you, uh, this channel's YouTube uh, videos. None of that. No scrolling through YouTube studio either. So, um, yeah, on that note, I'm going to get an early night's rest and I'll see you tomorrow. Do what you need to do to transform your life, lads. And lesses. It's not only boys here. It's not only guys here. No way. I've seen that apparently... Less than 40% of the people who are watching this video, these videos are female. 38.8% apparently. So, um, yeah, it seems like there are some girls here who aren't bummy chicks that want to learn as well. So, good on them for that. And ladies, do what you need to do, yeah. I don't know what sort of message you could take from this. But if you, if you ladies 
are interested in becoming a TYL, transform your life athlete, oof, all the power to you. And that goes for men as well. That goes for the guys as well. But that's more, we would probably be more inclined to do it than the females, maybe. I don't have any scientific studies or anything like that. Like Experts say females are 10 times as likely to be a bum. No, no, I'm not saying that. Not at all. The females are 10 times as likely to not go under the self-improvement journey. Nah, nah, I'm not saying that. But um, I don't know what sort of message you females could take are taking from this these sorts of videos. But I'd actually be interested to know. Guys too, but females, yeah. Let me know in the comments what sort of lessons you'll take it from this. Because I don't have a female perspective on this. On what sort of lessons that uh, you guys are learning. I don't have a... I, I've never, I've, I don't think I've really had a female perspective telling me uh, what they're, what you're learning from these sorts of videos and how you're applying them to your life. So I'd be interested. But on that note, do what you need to do to transform your life, lads and lasses. I'm gone. Peace.